you, you need to take the food on your backside to smell whether it is good or not. You need to take your eyes on here, then mouth on the leg. It could be something so unorganized. If we look at our body, if we look at the, all the creation, you will get the sign that there must be a creator. Yeah? That's what the Islamic position is. We say this creator is one. Why one? Because two is impossible. If there is two, for example, today is rainy. If there is two creators, one creator is saying, no, I want to give the sunshine, another creator is saying, no, there has to be rainy, so there will be the conflict, right? So that's the ex exactly what Allah says in the Quran, that if there is two creators, there will be the chaos. So there has to, has to be, must be one creator, right? And this creator will not let the people gone after creating. Obviously, for example, if you know, if you know the, your student, then obviously you will give the lesson accordingly, which student need, uh, need what lessons, right? So, and if you, if you just, if you give a gift to someone, a car, so obviously the car sailor will give the instruction as well, the how to drive the car. If you take the car in a sea or in river, it will not work. So there, it has to be in road, meaning there has to be the structure of everything. So obviously we are much more complex than a car, much more complex than a phone, much more complex than something else, human being. So there has to be guidance for the human being as well. So what we are saying is that this creator is all-knowing and all-powerful and he knows everything and he is the you know kind as well. So it is necessity for the creator to give the guidance for the human being because he knows what we need, he knows, knows our capacity, he knows our weakness. So we are saying this that this creator sent the prophets with the guidance in different different times. So why we need prophets? For example, if I give you a book of calculus, yeah, uh, are you a student? Or? Uh, no, I was. Okay, okay. So, what you studied before? I studied music. Music. Okay. So if I give you a book of physics, obviously you are not the student of physics. So if I give you a book of physics and said, okay, tomorrow is your exam, you need to get 90 out of 100. Is it justice or unjust to you? Unjust. So what will be the justice if I give you a, some books of physics and give you three years of time? And I am saying you have the best teacher here and they will teach you everything yeah. and after three years I expect you will get a good mark. Is it justice or unjust? Yeah. Justice. So the creator did the same things. He said this, that I did not let any people, any tribe or any group of people or any regional people without any prophets. He gave the prophets to every, every uh, uh, denomination or every time. So what we are seeing is that God sent the prophets like Moses, Abraham, Ishmael, David, Jacob, Jesus, all are the prophets. And we believe this, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and the final messenger, like the other did. So, does it make sense to you? Yeah, yeah so, then the, obviously the question would be, uh, what's the difference between the Islam, Christianity and Judaism? This is the main three, uh, mainstream three religion in the world. So, the, basically the difference is, if you look at the Judaism, uh, they are accepting Moses and one God for sure, but they are rejecting Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, right? So they are being ex in kind of extremist in terms of theological sense by rejecting two of the greatest prophets. Fine. Why about the Christianity? So Christian, they are accepting Jesus. That's a good point. They are accepting Jesus, but they are exalting Jesus in the level of God, so Jesus is the God, yeah. where Jesus never claimed to be God. If you, if you read the entire Bible, you'll never find any word where Jesus said, I am the God or worship me. It is very clear in the Bible and Jesus was saying this, that he has God. So how God, God have a God, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you look at the uh, John, if you look at uh, the Mark, if you look at Mark 13, 32, Jesus is saying, I don't know the hour. He doesn't know the last hour. So obviously God is all knowing how God doesn't know the last hour. And at the same time, what Christianity did, they are rejecting Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him as well. So they are being, you know, kind of in theological sense, they are accepting someone and exalting Jesus at the level of God but he is not God, right? A man is not God, and they're rejecting Prophet Muhammad Islam. So they're uh, kind of exalting Jesus, and no theological sense, they are not accepting the one true God. They're saying the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are God. 
which is going against against the teaching of the Jesus where he said here Israel the Lord our God the Lord is God is one right in uh, book of Mark chapter 12 verse 29 so what Islam says very interesting Islam says la ilaha illallah this there is none worthy of worship to worship except one God Allah and then it says Muhammad Rasulullah there's the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the final messenger and what it says the in terms of messengership it says one God oneness of God it's clear in Islam and what clear what else clear it says the la nufarriqu bayna ahadim mirusul what does it mean it means the mu'min the believer will not make any differentiation between the prophet did you see that's yes, if you don't accept any of this prophet in the chain of prophecy you will never be a muslim you need to accept all the prophets what islam did islam actually did the uh, you know connection between the, all the prophets connection uh, between the islam G jesus moses and prophet muhammad islam connection from the uh, abraham to uh, Prophet Muhammad Islam, connection from the Adam to Prophet Muhammad Islam. That's what Islam is, and Islam says, wa wa rusuli. We believe all the previous scripture. Look at the things. We believe in on, not only the prophets, there are books as well. The previous books came uh, to the to, to Jesus, to Moses, to Abraham. We believe all, all of things. Does it make sense? Yeah, so uh, obviously we agree there is a one God, right? We believe that. So, does it, does it make sense that the Prophet Muhammad Islam is the last and the final messenger? Does it make sense to you? Yeah? Does it make sense that obviously you, you believe in Moses, Jesus, Abraham, Ishmael, they are the prophets as well? Right? Does it make sense? So, if all the point does make sense, that's the Islam. We say the Tawheed is oneness of God. This you believe already. And the Risala in the believing the messengership and the prophecy. That's the, all the prophet. If we accept both things, that's what we call uh, the belief of Muslim, yeah? Iman, Aqidah, belief of Muslim. So, if you think it does make sense, then what we are saying is that we are inviting to you to accept Islam. So, accepting Islam is uh, something that's the Muslim is the, uh, who submits his will to the will of the Creator. We believe that Islam is the submission. So, we, you are submitting to yourself to the only one Creator, not anyone else, not any human beings. So you're submitting to the only one creator. So what we're saying is if it does make sense, you can take Shahada. Shahada means declaring your faith and becoming Muslim. Then you can start journey as a Muslim. What do you think? <laughs> Come on. I mean... Yeah. So... <laughs> I just, I'm not... I, I'm not really anything. I'm just like, you know... I understand, but you know what your belief the belief you have yeah, yeah, aligns. The, yes yeah, yeah. aligns with the Muslim belief and this belief is not uh, something which goes with any other belief system right. so that's what we're saying this the uh, sister look if our life is very short mm -hmm. right when you see the truth when you see the guidance we should accept it what will happen then then if we accept the truth We'll, we are getting the truth and we are submitting to the truth. We're not, we're not submitting to anyone else. We're submitting to the truth which is natural, uh, which with our intuition, which goes with our rational reasoning, sound reasoning. Yeah. So if you believe that, take Shahada. Shahada meaning testimony that I believe in one God and I believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That's it. And you can become Muslim. Inshallah. We have many sister circle, they took Shahada, then they start learning. It's not something that you don't know, you will learn step by step. Yeah, how to pray, how to do all the stuff, step by step. It's not something, okay, today, doing today, doing everything today, no. It's the steps of learning. Obviously, if you go to the year one, you can't write a thesis of PhD, right? So it's the starting point. So if you accept the things, take Shahada, Shahada meanings, we can read it in Arabic. What meaning is I believe in one God and I believe Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the final messenger and I believe Jesus Moses was the messenger as well. Once you take the Shahada, your all previous sin will be forgiven according to the Islam. This whatever you did, it will be forgiven and it will be connected to the only one Creator, not with me, not with anyone. Yeah. Will be connected. What do you think? Make sense? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. It makes I think for my lifestyle, yeah. I'm not sure 
but it makes sense. And if that's I, I heard then, these same things from many rivers, you know? They said, I cannot be changed because my lifestyle, how come my lifestyle will change? And following weeks, they came with different things. They I came mean, with the very strong Muslim. Yeah. They, they fear this, this sincerity is very good things. When, when you are sincere, obviously you will think this, what will happen to me? Yeah, yeah. How, how my lifestyle will change? Yeah. And how can I do, do this change? How can I evolve with these things? Yeah. So obviously it, is, it comes from the sincerity. It, it, it's not come from the evil thing. I appreciate it. It comes from the sincerity. Obviously, the, what Allah, there is a first hadith of the Bukhari. Mm -hmm. It says the uh, the meaning is that everything, every the action will be judged uh, as uh, the intention, right? So if, as, as you are saying, obviously your lifestyle and everything, obviously you have the good intention. That's, that's the reason you are, you are being scared. That's obviously if I take and I don't practice, then what will happen? That's fine. So it will be, it will come step by step. Why I'm saying I'm not pushing you. What I'm saying, if you think and if you think this belief aligns with me, accept it, sister. That's what I'm saying, just. Okay. Right. What do you think? If you, if you want to do it, it's just two sentences in Arabic. This is the wa ilaha illallah wa What do you think? I'm going to wait until I'm completely sure. Okay. I feel like with big decisions, mm -hmm. I want to know within me, you know? Yeah. I feel like I can't just have a, like a 10 minute conversation. And That's like, fine, okay, I appreciate it. You know uh, I mean? Take so, take take few times. Yeah, yeah. I'll, take I'll think about it. take think about take sometimes. Yeah. yeah, but no, nice to meet you though. Thank yeah. You. So, uh, you have the Quran or not? Okay. No. Take take the Quran and right. uh, let's let me give some literature as well. Yeah. So. You can look into it. Yeah. Right. Look into it, much. and what we are saying, what we are inviting as well. That's the once you get the. Do you have the common questions? No, sorry. Once, once you see this makes sense, and obviously goes with your sound reasoning. Don't delay. Accept it. For example, if I say two plus two equal to ten, mm -hmm. you will say no, bro. Come on, what you are saying? Yeah, because instantly you you'll react mm -hmm. with me. Because it doesn't make sense. When it does make sense, then obviously you will accept it. Okay. So if you. Go read it more, more uh, thoroughly, and inshallah. Yeah, nice take care of yourself. Nice to meet you. Alhamdulillah. So, this lady was, uh, alhamdulillah, sincere, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa taala to give her guidance and obviously show her the path of Islam. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.